friends, I'm Gabrielle Ohau. We are going to talk all about suicide. Because in today's society, the number of suicide cases is increasing common due to the increased stress that individuals facing. We are going to talk all about the different factors of suicide and the risk factors, the symptoms, and the other. Just sit back and relax and learn with me. According to Emil Dockin, the term suicide is applied to all cases of death resulting directly or indirectly from a positive or negative act of the victim, which he or she knows will produce this result. Dockin identifies four different types of suicide, which are egoistic suicide, altruistic suicide, anomic suicide, and fatalistic suicide. So, let's talk about egoistic suicide. Egoistic suicide is seen as stemming from the absence of social integration. It is committed by individuals who are social outcasts and see themselves as being alone or an outsider. For example, you have a circle of friends but sometimes they are ignoring you like they can't see you. Or sometimes they are hanging around but they not inviting you. These individuals are unable to find their own place in society and have problems adjusting to groups. They receive little and no social care. Suicide is seen as a solution for them to free themselves from loneliness or excessive individuation. The second one is altruistic suicide. Occurs when social group involvement is too high. For example, Individuals are so well integrated into the group that they are willing to sacrifice their own life in order to fulfill some obligation for the group. So, the third one is anomic suicide. is caused by the lack of social regulation and it occurs during high levels of stress and frustration. Anomic suicide stems from sudden and unexpected changes in situations. For example, when individuals suffer extreme financial loss or family problem, the disappointment and stress that individuals face may drive them towards committing suicide as a means of escape. The last one is fatalistic suicide. Occurs when individuals are kept under tight regulation. These individuals are placed under extreme rules or high expectations are set upon them, which removes a person's sense of self or individuality. For example, the children is very pressured because the parents want a high grade. So, here are some symptoms if your friends or family has a suicidal thoughts. Number one is talking about suicide, for example, Making statements such as, I'm going to kill myself, I wish I were dead, or I wish I hadn't been born. Number two is, feeling trapped, hopeless about the situation. Number three, withdrawing from social contact and wanting to be left alone. Number four, having mood swings such as emotionally high. Number five, saying goodbye to people as if they won't be seen again. Here's the risk factors. Although attempted suicide is more frequent for women, men are more likely than women to complete suicide because they typically use more lethal methods. You may be at risk of suicide if you attempted suicide before, feel hopeless, worthless, educated, socially isolated, or lonely, experience a stressful life, event such as the loss of a loved one, military service, a breakup, or financial or legal problem. Suicide in children and teenagers can follow stressful life events. In some cases, a child or teen may feel suicidal due to certain life circumstances that he or she may not want to talk about, such as loss or conflict with close friends or family members, history of physical or sexual abuse, being the victim of bullying. Here are the suicide prevention. Sometimes family member or, or friends may notice a person has sign of having suicidal thoughts. When this happens, 
this is the advices. You must take care of yourself and give yourself a rest. Don't put too much pressure on yourself because everything will be fine. It'll be alright, you're going to be okay. Maybe not now, but soon you will. And it's okay if you can't do what other people can. At least you're doing your best and that's all that matters. Do what you really love and be proud of yourself. Hope that you'll take care of yourself always.